What is going on team? Welcome to another video. If you are new here and it is your first time seeing my face, hello. Happy to have you here. Welcome, hope you're having a great day. My name is Jim Galvin, former Royal Marines Commando, having served in both Iraq and Afghanistan, GB Bob Slathley, and double, soon to be triple, Guinness World Record holder, and self-professed fitness agnostic. Basically means in regards to my own direction of training, I just haven't really made my mind up yet. And on this channel, we cover all things training, nutrition, biohacking and ancestral living to help you guys work out what you need to do based on your own individual biology to help both improve and optimize your performance, your health and your physique. And today I want to do a deep dive into a template that I've been working on for a couple of months now that I believe is the absolutely perfect tempo template. Tempo being the speed that we actually execute a particular rep that will yield incredible results for both power builders or for people prepping for the Royal Marines or any part of the military worldwide. So without further ado, let's get cracking, shall we? And what is going on team? So to make things easier, I have written a few bits and bobs up on the whiteboard next to me. The lighting in here is less than ideal. So what we're probably gonna do is superimpose either a photo of this or put together a lovely graphic for you. So I love the fact that I'm explaining this now. I don't know what's gonna happen, but hopefully there is something to my left, your right as you're looking at it, and it looks nice and glorious and you can see everything. So first of all, another kind of 10 seconds on who I believe this can benefit. I said earlier, power builders and people prepping for kind of any part of the military. For those of you that do not know what power building is, it is basically kind of the objective that pretty much every young man that I know is either in at the moment or has been in, which is to develop both strength and kind of and a hypertrophic result at the same time. We wanna get stronger and we wanna either kind of get bigger and put on some lean muscle mass or at the very least maintain the lean muscle mass that we have at the moment. So a strength objective and a hypertrophic muscle building objective tied together. I believe that this tempo template can absolutely benefit anyone that's on kind of on a power building program or has that goal, has that objective, and also anyone who is prepping for either the Royal Marines or any part of the military or anyone serving in any part of the military or any part of the services that kind of needs a good, healthy, bulletproof, well-rounded physique and body with these components as well. So focusing on just that thing in the top right-hand corner to start, guys, select between three and five exercises. Today is a lower body focus. For me, I only really select three primary exercises in a lower body session based around a particular movement pattern each. So if we look at this now, there is always a main compound lift. So I've done my warm up, I've done my mobility stuff. For me today, it is heel elevated. Basically means I can go super flipping ass the grass with it because the mobility in my left ankle is super shit. Heel elevated safety bar squats. That is the main compound lift. Exercise number two is always based around the same movement pattern, which is hip extension. It's very much a power thing, but kind of working on the glutes, the hamstrings, lower back, posterior chain, a particular exercise that basically isolates that movement pattern, which is hip extension. And today, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do some resisted hypers on a GHD. Third and final exercise, a unilateral exercise. I'm a big fan of single arm, single leg work generally. I'm at a stage right now where I'm doing a little bit more kind of Marcus Philly style functional bodybuilding in an attempt to kind of develop some stability and balance. And I thought, as I'm literally flipping, jumping on the knees over toes guy bandwagon, if you don't know who that is, check him out on Instagram, with some heel elevated arse the grass split squats, really making sure you get a stretch on the knee, pushing the knee as far forward over the toe as you can, and trying to keep the back leg as straight as possible, making sure you get a nice stretch in the hip flexor. Main compound lift, hip extension, unilateral exercise done. I'm going to go, as you'll see in the videos in a second, I'm going to go a little bit lighter with pretty much everything today. And the reason for that is this is my first video in the last two to three weeks where I'm actually back in a gym doing something because I've been pretty much burnt out for the last six months and it's only over the last two, three weeks that I've allowed myself to have a little bit of a break. So it's my first time back under any kind of weight. So don't take the piss and say that I'm weak in the comments. I'm just getting my mojo back. So of all of these exercises, guys, now let's get into the gritty stuff. So the notes here, we are gonna do five sets of each exercise. And as you can see in the notes below, we are not gonna execute all of these five sets in the same way. Everything we do should have an objective, right? Every single thing that everyone's gym program, all of the elements should have, is they are reverse engineered. You're kind of connecting the dots going back from a particular goal. The objective of sets one and two of the five is to develop both strength and power. And because of that, we are gonna complete between three and five reps of said exercise. So overlaying this onto the safety bar squats, three to five reps, but, and this is what you all came here to see, the tempo part of this. Three, two, X, zero, for all of these three to five reps. If you are unfamiliar with a four digit number or four digit setup for a tempo, I'll explain now. The first number is in reference to what's called the eccentric portion, which is the controlled 
lowering down the control, usually descent of a movement. In this case, big deep breath under the bar, control it three seconds down, it's probably more like four here, a good two seconds right at the bottom, so you're pausing at the bottom but still trying to maintain a little bit of tension, you don't want to completely relax, and then X means basically as fast as you can on the way up. You're not flipping jumping out the gym, but it is not just a, in inverted commas, smooth, concentric and the concentric is basically the overcoming of the resistance portion and zero the last number basically being the pause at the top so this is what it looks like in real time guys three seconds on the way down a good controlled but maintaining tension and breath two second pause at the bottom x nice and snappy on the way up and then into the next rep. So three to five repetitions executed in this way, two to three minute break because we're trying to develop strength and power, and then exactly the same again. That is two of the five sets done, and that's a really good way to make sure that we're developing strength and power, and we've done that. We've done a massive, we've got a kind of massive tick in the box for those two components that we're trying to develop. Again, if you're a power builder or you're prepping for the military, strength and power are needed, right? Again, I'm still supposed to be in my burnout program, so that's the reason why my strength sets are between 80 and 100 kilos in squats. Don't judge me. Moving on to section two, which is basically sets three and four. On the safety bar squats here, I actually have a little bit of problem with my left knee. Again, my body is just kind of falling apart these couple of weeks. And although the pain was only around a kind of a four or five out of 10, I really don't want to push it as I'm supposed to be in this deload program at the moment. So what I did is I kept the safety bar, but I didn't do the heel elevated. I just pulled a bench up and I just went down to the bench instead. So seven to 10 reps on these two sets with a two, zero, one, zero tempo. So a little bit quicker on the way down. Two seconds is still control, right? So two seconds on the way down, no pause, and then one second on the way up, nice, smooth, concentric. I'll be completely honest with you, two, zero, one, zero is what most people probably do for most things anyway. Three, zero, one, zero is considered the standard tempo, but very few people in a mainstream high street commercial gym are gonna be doing a controlled three second eccentric. It's gonna be much more like a big deep breath and then dropping it down a little bit quicker in two. So two, zero, one, zero. But basically the zero, zero just means that there's no pause at the top, no pause at the bottom. So you're kind of keeping it moving the whole time because the rep count is higher and the weight is lower. The rest period is also a little bit lower with this. So between reps three and four, you only really wanna be having, I don't know, around about 90 seconds for this to make sure. The rest is a little bit lower. We keep that fatigue up. We get a bit of kind of growth hormone release as well. The objective of sets one and two were strength and power. The objectives of sets three and four is functional hypertrophy, functional muscle building. And here we get to the last one, guys, set five now. The objective of this is what's called metabolic stress, and this is the burner. This is where we get a massive kind of dump of lactic acid, and we just absolutely flood it with oxygenated blood and get a proper little pump on. This is a little bit more complicated, right? So what I've written here, I want you to do between 40 and 50 reps, which is at roughly your 20 to 25 rep max, which basically none of you are gonna flipping know what that is. So I suggest kind of, I don't know, between maybe 45 and 55% of your one rep max. So roughly half of your one rep max. And this is a dynamic slash pump tempo. So don't allow it to kind of drop down. So obviously just control it down. As you're seeing here, I'm going down a little bit quicker. Bum touches straight up, but there's no pause at the top, no pause at the bottom. You've, you're literally keeping that tension the whole time. It's much more kind of stretch reflex, much more kind of like pumpy. You're just getting a massive amount of blood pump into that area, as you see here on the safety bar squats. And obviously, again, I'd rather be doing this after the grass, which is what I definitely encourage you to do. It's just because my knee's a little bit dodgy and I'm still in my DLO week, which is why you'll see in this particular pseudo box squat version now. And in terms of how to complete 40 to 50 reps when you're working at like your 20 to 25 rep max, that's a very, very good question. What I want you to do is basically you do have to kind of chop this into little sections, little clusters. But what I would want you to do is do however many squats you can, you can do. But remember this, don't go completely to failure. Keep this dynamic slash pump tempo, that is the tempo, down and up kind of as quick as you can without kind of losing form and being reckless and make sure you kind of keep tension. Uh, and then stop around about two to three reps before you hit complete failure. So say you've kind of, you've done 20 and you can feel form go, you might be able to get two or three more. Stop there, shake your legs off for maybe about 15 seconds and then go back in. Do another eight, stop, back in. Do another five, so basically you're chopping it and so rest as needed until you have done your entire kind of set of 40 or 50 reps. But it's basically one big set because you're only having about 10 to 15 se seconds kind of break in between these kind of clusters effectively. So that's the main compound exercise done. So five sets in, you're already a third the way through your session. And again, if you do not think that 15 sets in a training session 
is enough to get a decent benefit, then please go watch the video with this particular thumbnail now to listen to me having a go at you about bitching out from intensity and glorifying volume. Lower the volume, start training flipping harder. Main compound done, so now let's have a look at what it would look like for hip extension. Exactly the same template, guys. I would have normally done something a little bit heavier for you, like an RDL, etc. But again, I'm still kind of healing and supposed to be allowing my training to be a little bit more low key. But still, you can see here on these resisted hypers, the objectives absolutely stay the same. So the objectives of set one and set two are to develop that power and that strength and that speed. Three seconds on the way down to that more kind of hinged position where I'm kind of overhanging the GHD. A two second pause there where I'm not completely relaxed, they do still have that tension. And then X, super snappy. And again, holding the dumbbell and against the extra resistance of the band. Super snappy up to only that 180 degree angle where I'm just extended. I don't need to hyper extend with it. And then from there, down under control again, 3, 2, X, 0. About two to three minutes break and then 3, 2, X, 0 for another set of three to five. That is sets one and two done. Moving on to sets three or four, exactly the same. Seven to 10 reps for something like a resisted hyper. If it was a much more heavily laden exercise, I'd probably go um, a little bit lower in terms of the reps, more towards seven, but with this, happy to kind of go higher towards the 10 rep range. The objective again is functional hypertrophy. We want to be building that good quality lean muscle mass with a 2-0-1-0 tempo. No pause at the top, no pause at the bottom. So again, it's kind of kept under tension the whole time. Only about 90 seconds between these two sets here. And set five, metabolic stress. This is the burner, this is the pump set. 40 to 50 reps. On this particular exercise, it's basically just body weight. And the goal is basically kind of to do as many as you can while keeping kind of good form. And then for the metabolic stress with this dynamic slash pump pace again it's just body weight and again execute it in exactly the same way as the safety bar squats as many reps as you can unbroken stop when you're about two to three reps shy of complete failure get off the GHD shake it off a little bit get yourself back in and then keep going until all the 40 or 50 reps are done and finally guys overlaying this onto a unilateral exercise this is a little bit different when it's single leg right because we've got to make sure that the rest periods don't become to kind of too disrupted by the fact that we effectively have to double up everything we're doing. But saying that, the objective and the tempo still stays the same. Strength, speed and power, four sets, one and two. I did the heel elevated split squat as you're seeing here. All of the sets you're gonna see me completing now are gonna be all unladen. Again, because I'm not really supposed to be here, but I will obviously show you the tempo and kind of show you what it would look like if you're executing each rep at this speed. Three, two, X, zero for this. So three seconds down, two second pause. Again, whilst you're keeping the tension, that's super important in all of these exercises. You don't just relax at the bottom. You hold the tension, two seconds, and then nice and snappy on the way up. No real pause at the top. That zero on the end is kind of zero, kind of a one. Take a breath if you need to, but no more than like two seconds and then drop, dropping down again, basically ready for the next one. Three to five reps on each side, one immediately followed by the other, and then take roughly two minutes because single leg exercises are very rarely as neurally demanding as a super heavy squat or super heavy deadlift. So three to five reps with the three, two XO tempo on the right leg, exactly the same on the left leg, maybe about 90 seconds and then go back in and do the same, two sets done, exactly like the others. A bit of functional hypertrophy on this, again with single leg stuff, very similar to kind of the hip extension uh, with the particular exercise that I chose today. I'd probably kind of go towards the top end of that rep range and hit roughly 10 instead of seven if I can. Two zero one zero tempo, so down a little bit quicker, but make sure, again, making sure you definitely have to kind of keep that tension because there's no pause at the bottom at all. And then one, one second is smooth, concentric up two second controlled eccentric, no pause, one second smooth concentric up. Again, seven to 10 reps, then I'd go to the next leg and then I'd only have 60 seconds break before going in for set four to do exactly the same thing. The metabolic stress slash burner set, set five on a single leg exercise. How do we do this and manage the break? What I would do is still aim for between 40 and 50 reps each leg. I know it's gonna sound like a killer, but you're here to train hard. I told you that only 15 sets could be a flipping good workout if it's executed right and could be an amazing part of kind of a really good kind of linchpin of your preparation for the military or an amazing way of hitting, you know, strength, speed, power, functional hypertrophy and a little bit of kind of metabolic stress, muscular endurance as well. Everything under kind of the spectrum of what we want all in the same session for that one particular body part. But what I would do with this with something that's single leg is, is actually have a selected number of reps you're gonna hit. So if the total is 50, maybe do like two sets of 15 and then two sets of 10 on each leg. So 15 on the right, 15 on the left, 15 on the right, 15 on the left. 
10, 10, 10, 10, done. That'll be my only extra caveat for that particular section. Have a specific rep number that you're going for and make sure it's even each leg. Guys, there we go. I really hope you enjoyed this. I'm actually coming back here to Route One Fitness tomorrow to film basically uh, exactly the same kind of tempo template but for upper body and there are gonna be a couple of nuanced changes. So I do hope you're excited for that video. If you did like this one and you did enjoy it and it did give you some kind of value, please, please, please just click that like button. It is unbelievably easy and flipping quick for you. It literally takes no effort other than about, I was gonna say five seconds, it's not even five seconds. Please do just click that button. It would genuinely make my day and it does so well to just chuck my channel into the deep dark waters of the YouTube algorithm, hopefully get to expose this, hopefully valuable content to more people just like you. So really hope you did enjoy it. Any kind of questions on any of this stuff, please do put down in the comment section below and I will make sure that I, I actually have allocated time in my flipping weekly default diary to respond to comments. So none shall be left. For the rest of you, stay strong, stay healthy, stay awesome. Look out for that next video. Love you all and I'll see you soon.